Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of inspiration and realness. Also, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself from his Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts, Mr. Shenanigans himself, and the two-time Chilling 3000 2022 End of the Year Awards winner, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. This is episode 317 of the show. It's the 20th edition of Martindale Monday as we play a little bit of Tic-Tac-Doe. Before we play some Tic-Tac-Doe and do battle against the Rotten Dragon with a scorecard here for the best of 20, I want to give some sentimental shout-outs to my parents, first of all. Uh, my dad and my stepmom, they'll be celebrating their 35th wedding anniversary. Um, but they already did, but they're so, uh, this is their, today's different. They celebrated this past, over the weekend, but this past, over this past weekend, but th today is their actual 35th wedding anniversary. And I'm very, very blessed to have them in my life. If it had not been for them, I wouldn't be the person that I am today, very thankfully. So, um, happy anniversary to my parents out there. Uh, my dad and stepmom, you know. I call them my parents because I'm proud. Of, uh, I'm proud to be. Uh, I'm proud to have them as my parents. Another thing too that I am uh, give a shout out to is my apostle, um, the apostle of my church. I, I attended um, for almost forty years. That would be um, Tony Rizendi. He'll be turning eighty this week, and, and this coming weekend we'll be celebrating his birthday. I am really excited. So. It's not, it's not every day you get to celebrate someone's 80th birthday. I mean, this is a huge, huge deal. You know what I mean? I mean, I, mean, I don't think neither of my grandparents on my dad's side of the family lived down, lived 80 years, I think. And they're both, and I think they have. Wait, they did leave, they, never mind. My grandmother has, has passed her 80 years. I think my dad, my, my dad, my grandfather did too. So, yeah, so, it's like I never got a chance to celebrate their 80th birthday, but, uh, I did celebrate my grandma's 90th. God rest both of their souls. Anyways, so, <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, like, like I said, it's going to be a lot. When I was a kid, he used to babysit me, too. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, our church next year will be 40 years. 40 years, man. Praise the Lord. So, uh, so are we ready to go here? Let's, you know, that's um, that's sentimental shout-outs. Are we ready to go here? I mean, you think about, am I ready? I'm ready. Uh, I got my board here. It's ready. All right. All right. Let's try to see if I can beat this dragon. I've been doing very well here so far. So here we go. And we're going to... Hey, let's go. Shuffle everything up. Shuffle everything up. Did watch a little bit of Tic Tac Doe. All right. Let's try number four to start it off. $100. Let's try number seven below there. Tac. Let's try number nine. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Come on. Come on. One nothing. Dragon. Dragon. Dragon's up not one to nothing. We'll go to round two in a moment. Where was the tick? Gosh dang it. It was right next door, too. I should have taken it. Alright then, let's go to round two. I feel like Kit Salisbury. You know, he has trouble in the bonus round. He does well in the game, but alright, number four, one hundred dollars. Let's try number five. One fifty. Let's try number six. Three hundred dollars. Let's try number three. Tech. Let's try number seven. 250. Let's try number one. There we are. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Two to nothing. Favor of the dragon. 289. Which number was fine? It would be... Again, what is this? Man, eight or nine would have helped me. Two head tick. All right, come on. Let's go. Round three. Let's stop playing around. Let's go. Quit joking around. Let's go to number, number three first. Round three. All right, let's go to number nine. Triple it. 250. Let's try number seven. One fifty. It's five hundred bucks. Let's try five in the middle. Five hundred, but I got it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Two to one. Thank you. All right. One, two, four, six, eight. Who do we not appreciate? It would be number two. One and four had tack and tick respectively. All right, let's make this thing a Chuck Woolery game. Let's go. Round number four. Let's go from number four to start off. Tick. Let's try number six. One hundred dollars. Nope. Let's try number seven. Two fifty. Let's try number nine. Three hundred. Let's try number three. 
409 days. I have made it a Chuck Woolery game. I have made it a Chuck Woolery game 2 and 2. There it I made a Chuck Woolery game. 1, 2, 5, 8. Once again, who do we not appreciate? It would be numero uno. Tack was in the middle at number 5. All right, let's go round five. Let's try number five. $400, very good. Let's try number seven, lucky seven. Tech, let's try number nine. Come on, Tech. Okay, $300. Let's try six. Is that Tech? All right, $950. Let's try number eight. Is that Tech? Hey, there you go. I picked the three large amounts on the board. Four, I should say. Four large amounts on the board. Three to two after five rounds. One through four, which number would shut the door? It would be number one, one, numero uno, while Tick was behind number three. Let's shuffle everything up once again for round number six. All right, Dragon's found a place to hide. Let's try number six to round six. 150. Number nine, below that. Tack, let's try number seven. Two, uh, 250. Let's try number three. Give me a tick. Tick it! There it is. There it is. After six rounds, it's four to two. I saw the dragon jump at number eight over the last shuffle. Was he there? No, it jumped up. He jumped up at number two. One, five, and eight would be the numbers that would add up to a thousand, but I got three and nine. That's important. Tick and tack. All right, let's go. Round number seven. Is seven a lucky number? Let's find out. I saw the dragon jump to six. Is it there, though? Tick. Let's try number nine. Three hundred dollars. Nope. Let's try number four. Two fifty. Let's try number eight. Five, uh, 150, let's try number five. 400, and there you go. It was me, five to two. After seven games, five to two, very good. One, two, three, and six, which number was not a great fix? It would be numero uno once again. Number six had the tack in it. Let's shuffle everything up once again for round number eight. It's five to two, I'm leading um, up five to two. Five to two, I'm leading up there. All right, let's try number eight. 150. Okay, let's try number seven next door. 250, 400. Let's try number nine. Oh, and number nine. Number nine held that mean monster. So so it is five to three after eight rounds. I'm still in the lead, though, by two. One through six once again. It would be two and five. Tack and tick, respectively. All the other numbers had money amounts. I would find to help me win. All right, let's round number nine. Let's try nine. $300. Let's try number four. Oh, Dragon will play catch up now because it is. Uh, I'm going to call Dragon Hines because he's trying to catch up. Get it? Hines catch up? <laughs> All right, five to four. Uh, full, I'm full of bad jokes today. Let me tell you, I'm going to be full of j bad jokes. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Which numbers were so great? Seven and eight. Attack and tick. They were great. All right. Yeah, I'm rhyming. You're real white bar. I apologize for that right there. All right, let's try it. Um, what's it? Round number 10. Let's, it's time to play some addition. Let's go 3 plus 7. 100 plus 7 is 10. 500. Let's play uh, 4 plus 6. Let's try that. And. Oh! That 4 plus 6, that was not great. Obviously, we're back up 5 up. Super Mario 3, 3 star card game. It is 5 up. All right, 1, 2, 5, 8, and 9. Which numbers were so fine? I would have. You know, 1 and 8. And that would add up to nine. But tick and tack, though, respectively, there. All right, then. Let's go to round number 11. Let's go. Two plus nine is 11. So it's by two. Forget that idea. Forget that idea. The dragon's back up in the lead. Six to five. Uh, took the first two games, and all of a sudden, I started running the gauntlet with five more. Okay, where what? Okay, tack and tick, three and seven, respectively. All the other numbers are good. All right, round 12. Let's see if I can get back up. Okay, seven plus five is 12. Let's add seven first. Plus five is 12. Tick, let's try nine plus three. It's 12. Okay, 650. Now, eight plus four is 12. Yep, don't need it. Don't need the four. Don't need the four. It's six up. Fox Car City. One, two, four, six. Which number would... Ooh, that... Number, numero uno. Tack had two. Tack was behind two, I should say. All right, then. Let's go. Round number 13. Is it lucky? Let's find out. Lucky. Let's try seven first. Lucky number. Plus six is 13. 
All right, five hundred. Nine plus four. Let's try that one. There you go. Two great numbers. Back on track. Seven plus six. Seven plus six. All right, that's one, two, three, five, eight. Which number was not great? It would be numero uno again. Two and eight. Tack and tip, respectively. Let's shuffle everything up around number 14. All right, round 14. Okay, let's go. Five plus nine is 14. Let's try five first. Plus nine is 14. 150. Plus six plus eight is 14. There you go. It works. It works. Eight to six. Eight to six. Very good. So that means one, two, three, four, seven. Which number was not heaven? It would be... Four. Number four, El Cuatro, held the mean monster. Alrighty then, the, f the score is eight to six. Let's go to round 15. Alright, eight plus seven is 15. Let's try that one. Seven plus eight is 15. No, seven was not a lucky number. It was not a lucky number. It is eight to seven. Okay, what was behind number six and nine? Yeah, I should have picked four and six instead. It would be. Tack and tick, respectively. Alrighty then, let's go. Round 16. Is 16 a sweet number? Let's find out. 9. Tack. Let's try number 7. 500. Let's try uh, 8. 150. Okay, 1 through 6. Okay, 650. Where's the tick? One Number 1, maybe? Tick! Yeah, there you go. 9 to 7. 9 to 7, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty then, two through six. Which number was n wasn't a great fix? It was a five in the middle. No, it was number six at the end there. Meanwhile, mean meanwhile, all the other numbers would have been good to help me. But three, one and nine. All right, let's shuffle everything up around at number seventeen. Nine plus eight is seventeen. So I'm gonna try nine first. Plus eight is seventeen. Okay, very good. Five fifty. Let's try seven. Let's see if that will give me a five hundred. No. That wasn't a $500 bill. That was the mean, rotten dragon. It was 9 to 8. 9 to 8, folks. That dragon's coming up. Once again, I'm stuck. Last six numbers weren't picked. First six numbers weren't picked. Tick and tack, 1 and 6, respectively. There is the 500 behind 5. That would have helped me. All right, let's go. Round number 18. All right, let's go. Number 5. Here we go. 500 bucks. Let's try number 8. 300. Let's try number 9. Tack. Let's try number 4. There you go. There you go. Ten to eight. Ten to eight. That means I got the last two rounds that can be very crucial here. One, two, three, six, and seven. Which number was not heaven? Okay, six. I'm avoiding six, so that's pretty good. Number six has the dragon. Okay, round number nineteen. Let's try seven. One hundred dollars. Try number five. Okay, that's 350. 350. Shout out to Brandon Scruggs, Kevin Henry, Will Medina, and the rest of the gang over to MVG Productions. Why? I got 350. I got 350. All right. I got 350. 350. All right. All right. Oh, I can, I can get. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, okay, 350. <laughs> I, I can type any number I want. Tick. Let's try number 9. Three, okay, 650. Let's try number 3. 500, yes! <laughs> that was weird I could do that. I could type out the numbers. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, that would be 11 to, 11 to 8. So no matter what happens here, I win. So I did win. All right, 1, 2, 4, 6. Where was the dragon? It was number two while tackles behind six. I was weird. I was like goofing around there. So, anyways, one more round twenty and it'll be over. Let's say six tack. Let's try number nine. Oh, I was hoping to finish it off that way. Okay, tack, okay three. Let's try five in the middle. Two fifty. Let's try number five, eight. Oh, there you go, and that's a win. That's a straight up win. And it's the final. Hey, I think I've been 12 eighting it. So, 12 8 once again. Hey, I've been doing well in the bonus round. So, very, very good. We're, too bad they don't have the Dragon Finder game. That would be really fun to play. 1, 2, 3, 7. Which number was not so heaven? Ah, number 3. And number 7 held tick.
So that is all the time we have on this great show, as you know. Episode 317 of the show. Uh, tonight, we're going to have a raw live reaction um, on my friend Jordy Scow's um, stream. Uh, check um, check his channel out, and please subscribe to him if you can. I'll be joining him. Jordy Scow and I both won Wrestling Jock of the Year for 2022 in the 3000 uh, uh, Awards. And I'm having, I'll am having i be having a lot of fun trying to be Gorilla Monsoon. He'd be Bobby the Brain Heenan. And all that good stuff. We're going to have some fun. In fact, Raw is 30. Huge news on this one. The Bloodline Acknowledgement Ceremony is canceled, ladies and gentlemen. Because Roman Reigns is not in a very good mood. If you saw last week on SmackDown, what happened this past Friday night on SmackDown, I should say. Kevin Owens kind of spoiled the whole thing by beating up members of the Bloodline. And with Sami coming out last moment. As this Sami Zayn was the last person to come out and show up, guess what? They're having a trial or Sami Zayn. That's right. They're going to have a trial instead with every generation of the bloodline. Now, a lot of speculation about The Rock. The Rock says he's not ready. He won't be, be ready for WrestleMania. Yada, yada, yada. Who knows for sure. They said, don't believe Dave Meltzer and all that crap and all that. Let's just see what happens tonight on Raw is 30. That's right. Can't wait. And uh, we'll do a report event center for tomorrow on that. Really excited about what's going to go on. I don't know. Da, 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 da. Huh. So I'm going, I'm going nuts here. So that is all the time we have on this lovely show. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in. So I will uh, see you guys later. Until the next episode comes rolling around. Mr. Announcer, please take us home. That is all for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget production. And in association with a sweet both of raving dingleberries telepictures and distribution. Thank you for watching another great episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to the Demon Thousand Network for great more content like this one.